Please. Look up. Look up. Look up. Go ahead, Moody. Alright. So, we're having another catastrophic ending to a game. For a lot of you guys who remember the Phoenix game or want to forget it like I want to forget it, the Knicks just in the second half, we don't like to play basketball in the second half. Right now, the Hawks are taking their biggest lead in the entire game. 102.99 with about four and a half minutes left. And I thought, hey, why not film live reaction to how this game ends? So I'm doing that. Okay, I, look man, I'm just trying to throw ideas in these videos. I got pizza. I really don't like the fact that Cantor's in. Hardly, what was that? I love it. That's in there. Emmanuel Moody! Yo, mighty mouse. I ain't gonna lie. That's a pretty fire nickname for uh, Trey Young. Oh yeah, Lance. Oh yeah, Lance. Say I'm gonna take some stupid shots. He, I don't, I, I don't understand what goes through his brain that makes him think that that is a good shot. Um, I, I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. You know what? We've seen enough. Let's just, let's let's get into the video. What's good, CK Crew? It's your boy CK2K here, and I am back. Yeah, I know it's been, it feels like it's been two to three damn weeks or months since I've actually done an actual sit down video in my office. I'm sorry, December was a crazy month. It still is December, but it's been a crazy month up until this point. Doing a lot of family stuff. Oh, excuse me, God, oh my goodness. Work, all kinds of craziness. I apologize about all that. But this coming week, we gonna be having videos every, well, I'm gonna try every single day. Okay, here's my guarantee. I can guarantee you we gonna have at least four videos in seven days but I'm going to try to do seven. I'm trying my best to do seven. So stick around for that. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe for that action. It's gonna be fun times. I will be unleashing the new merch. I'm keeping the New York Knox design. That design's not going anywhere. And on top of that, um, I have an old Nyx tape design that's on there. I'm gonna revamp that because Nyx tape is dead. No one says Nyx tape anymore since Amon left. <laughs> I miss you, Amon. I miss you, bro. What you know about Lil Drew? Lil Drew drop! Nyx family, we need a a new phrase for the Knicks. We need a new nickname. We need a new a new battle name for the New York Knicks. I see people throw around the Knicks way, all kinds of stuff. So I need your help in the comment section below. I need a new Knicks squad name, like you know, like Knicks tape, something like that. So I can use that as the new brandy for this for the t-shirts, for stuff like that. But for right now on the website, I just have the two designs. I have New York Knox and the Knicks tape design. Get those while they're still there. And don't forget to let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any any other squad names for the Knicks because we need something. We need something. We need something. As you can tell, I'm like talking about everything else besides this damn game because I don't want to talk about the game. So since we last spoke, we beat the Charlotte Hornets. I like to keep the happier times on this channel, as you can probably tell. And in that time, we've lost against the Indiana Pacers, Phoenix Suns, Philadelphia 76ers, and last night against the Atlanta Hawks. Just not a, not, not, a, not a good 2018 for the Knicks. And as we all know, coming up on Tuesday, we have the fun game against the Milwaukee Bucks where Giannis Antetokounmpo is going to drop 55 points on our head. And every time he scores, you can look at the bench, look at his own. He's saying, you did this. You're the reason why I'm doing this to your team right now. We had a tremendous, tremendous start from Mayo Moutier and Kevin Knox. You're not gonna speed him up. You're gonna get some open shots. Knox from the corner. Kevin Knox damn near dropped, not damn near, he did drop. He dropped 21 points, six boards in the first half, looking like he was gonna pop off and have, looking like he was gonna pop off and have a 30 point game, uh, drop a double double, do his thing. But then, like he has been doing in the last few games, he just stalled out a little bit in the second half. I mean, not a little bit, a lot of bit. He only had three points in the whole second half. He ended the game with 24 points. Now, as bad as that might be, the positive in that is he still shot above 45% across the board. 
and I'm talking about from the field and from the three point line. Not not just the the field in general. For the three point line, he shot well above 45, percent which is very solid. His free throws probably still need, need a little bit of work, but you know he can make them. He's a rookie. He's figuring it out. I'm worried about the free throws. I don't lie, you guys. I'm not worried about the free throws. But my man Emmanuel Moody dropping another 30 piece on these boys manuel moody went out there and looked good he's controlling the offense i mean he didn't do it so much last night as he has in past games but he did a good job in controlling uh the pace of the game and taking over when it was needed but we just once again like our defense just goes stupid in the first half both teams were playing solid defense and it was really cool to see even atlanta i was proud i was surprised to see Atlanta playing some defense it was good defense both ways but of course they just didn't have an answer for Kevin Knox in the first half then the second half when it's just Emmanuel Moutier doing it and no one else is picking up with him I mean mind you Tim Hardaway Jr. had a pretty solid second half um they were able to take advantage of us and then Trey Young finally decided to wake up Kent Bazemore had himself a game John Collins went out there and dropped a double double while getting hurt three times in the same game it just we just look terrible and I'm not going to talk about the referees because that is a huge trigger warning. I'm not going to sit here. I'm not blaming the referees. But at the same time, and this is both ways. Like, there was some calls on Atlanta. I'm just like, yo, I'll take it. But come the freak on. But we're not talking about referees. We're talking about the Knicks, what they can and cannot do. I don't know what else you want me to say. You know, we we, we took another loss. It's a, It's frustrating in the sense that. The, these gimme games are the ones that we need to win because we know we're going to be losing games throughout the season. That's just the reality situation. When you're the youngest team in the league and you're not the one of the best built teams at right now in the league, you're going to lose games. But with these gimme games, we need to finish them out. And that's, I think, is what's more frustrating about this loss more than anything else. Especially with the night before this game, we had the, the, the graces of Zion Williamson stepping on the guard and doing what he does so best and that is highlight and just petrify all the fans that love watching it blah 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 all i saw on that court was three players that i want on the new york Knicks squad rj barrett zion and cam reddish i'm saving all of the draft talk and the pers prospect talk i'm saving all that for when that time gets closer so you're not going to get anything out of me you guys already know i've been vocal about how i want cam reddish thinking that we were going to be anywhere between four to six but right now it's looking like we have a chance to be in the top three in the draft so maybe we do have a chance for an rj barrett or zion williamson but i'm not going to talk about that right now you guys can be feel free to leave all your thoughts about that in the comments below i'm keeping my mouth shut about that until that time comes all right but other things that we are looking to do is the jabari parker move like it's looking like the knicks were somewhat thinking about the jabari parker move now a lot of people including myself at one point are triggered by this they're like no jabari parker he doesn't play defense yeah, he's his contract is 20 million dollars but like myself had i had to be educated in the fact that this is a salary dump so this is very beneficial for us if we do decide to make this move we could do anything from the unpopular move, but the necessary move in moving Hazonia, Lee, and Burke for him. And then we, A, take off Lee's contract, B, bring down the guard situation a little bit. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, wait, isn't he signed on for two years? No, he signed on for one year plus a team option. What a team option is, for those who do not know, he can be guaranteed 20 million next year if the Knicks decided to accept the option to keep him on the roster and then pay him $20 million. But most expectedly, he's not, they're not gonna accept that. They're gonna let him walk and they're not gonna have to worry about that $20 million. So we're just gonna be paying him the 20 mil, that the first part of that 20 mil this year, and then the rest of it is not up to us. We're not taking that option. Sorry, bro, you ain't getting that money from us. So I would love to hear what you guys have to say about that in the comments section below. Personally, I think we should do it. Um, the, I just gave you the move I think we should make. Is it enough? Who knows? Honestly, I'd also be okay moving Tim Hardaway too, if that has to be be part of it that has to be part of it he needs to be off the books especially if we have the chance to get like an rj barrett or a cam Reddish in this draft he has to be off the books i mean he doesn't have to be tim doesn't have to be but for the long term one of these guys are going to be the starting guard of the future uh, I'm, I'm already talking too much in the future i need to know what you guys think we should do bitch you thought this video was over didn't you oh no it's time for everyone's favorite segment and that's the comments of the video that's right ladies and gentlemen it's back.
Also, shout out to all you guys with the hashtag Moody A's. You guys are too real for that. I appreciate all that love. My man Anthony Navarro says, CK2K, you need to be on iTunes. Uh, yes, this is pertaining to our podcast, our podcast slash live show, Coast to Coast. If you have not stopped by yet, what are you waiting for? This show is just getting better and better every week. It's a lot of fun. You guys get to interact with us as me and my homie Brandon, also known as Wars World. Go subscribe to him. We talk about whatever stuff's going on in the NBA. This is an NBA show, not just a Knicks show not just a lakers show it's an nba show and of course we give our opinions on our two teams as well throughout the show so stick by if you haven't but yes we will be on itunes and spotify very shortly hopefully 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 earlier on next year if not then it'll be like later in january but we will be audio we will have an audio version only as well as the video version that you guys see on the channel right now it's coming I told you guys moves are being made y'all and you guys man you guys are just so supportive i appreciate you guys my man the 1024 says moody ain't been balling out ck really pleased with the guys progressing with the guys progressing hope they all continue to get better you and me both kevin knox has been playing tremendously out of his mind for the last what i want to say the whole month of december a little bit of november he's been great for us moody has been great for us i want to say since october maybe even before that no not before like late october to when, when he started when he started playing for us you know it's just the frank nilakina is that needs to just get out of his head and be confident you know we're still waiting on trey to get back you know trey burke is not getting minutes and it's just all kinds of stuff but losses be losses and wins be damned i'm proud of the team that we have and i'm really excited for the future and the long term of this team and that's not going to change that's not going to change paul low r.i.p baker yes we lost ron bake ron baker um ron burgundy went because we needed to bring on trier for a long-term contract but like i said i kept mentioning it i kept saying he's gonna get picked up and he did he finally got picked up by the washington wizards he is part of the wizards now they're going to play him because they're gonna need him because he's gonna be the only player that's gonna be a hustler on that team and they're gonna find that out when they put him on the court much love to you guys Knicks fam if you guys made it this far in the video i'm gonna need you guys to give me the hashtag time for change because we need a new name. We need a new battle cry name. We need something new. Nick's tape is dead. We need something that we can start on CKT, CKTV. That's not this channel. That's my other channel. Subscribe if you haven't. We need a name that we can start on this channel, CK2K. And we would know about it. We tweet about it. We hashtag it. And it spreads. And it turns into the new name of the Nick. So hashtag time for a change. Hashtag time for a change. And please, please give me your suggestions in the chat. That hashtag lets me know that you made it this far in the video and if you made this far in the video you are amazing all right okay i've said enough i'm out of here i got videos to edit there's going to be a video on monday tuesday wednesday thursday and then that's when the rest of the week we have to figure out what videos to edit but i'm i really do appreciate you guys really appreciate your guys support remember link in description for the merch store if you want to check out one of the two designs that we have up there the new york knox the Knicks tape and also if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button follow me on my socials i'll catch you guys in the next video Video. Appreciate my people who are here at the premiere. Future CK, what's good with you, bro? <clears throat> I'm out here holding it down, dog. That pizza, though, really messing me up right now. I'll catch you guys later. Much love. Let's get it.